Hey, this is Electrical Beast, a.k.a. the Jolting of Let's Plays, and welcome to the Pix to Pix Face Generator. And this is a very cool program. What this does is you draw an outline of a face, you draw the details, like you see here. This is, I didn't create this one, I'm a terrible drawer. This was the default one, and it displays a face like with ultra detail when pressing the process button so this is a cool game well it's not really a game it's a cool tool but you can have a lot of fun with it for example let's draw a third eye shall we and I am not a good drawer so bear with me here. <laughs> Let's draw an eyeball here. Okay, that's pretty messed up eyeball, but hey. And we'll draw a speech bubble. There we go. Hi there. And let's see what happens with this. Let's press process. Oh my gosh, what have we done? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, I think we should move on here. <laughs> and as you can see, you got the line. This is what you can draw with an eraser. This is what you can use to erase your work, which we're going to do because we've totally butchered this awesome drawing. There we go, all back to normal now. And undo, that's like to undo our thing. And clear, that starts with a clear slit light. So we're gonna give this a go. And we're gonna try and do our own face. And I f I'm not a great draw, so what I'm gonna do is do the profile. I think we're gonna start with air. air. Because that's the easy part. Let's draw the details of the air. And let's have a relaxing time, shall we? Doing some drawing. I haven't done enough drawing games. I did the polka draw thing. But that was quite a while back. That was a few, mo few months back, I think. And... How should we do this? Let's draw the outline of the face now. We'll draw a nose. Okay, maybe we should like make a mouth out of this. So we got the chin. And let's do a neck here. Oh, there we go. That's not too bad. And we can also do a shirt. So we'll put some details here for the shirt. Because I want to see what... I want to test this program out and put it to the limits with my terrible drawing. I think we should add a little bit more to the air, though. There we go. Let's draw an eyeball. Let's not hold back. Let's go all out. Let our imagination run wild. We need a nose hole, of course, though. Otherwise, we might confuse this program. There we go. Let's draw a mouth. Let's draw some detail because it might think that's a mustache. There we go. Uh, maybe we should add some freckles for extra detail on our draw in there. Let's add some freckles. Speaking of freckles, we've been getting a lot of sun recently. Yeah, it's been 
Uh, not June so far for a change. We've been getting some good weather, which we don't usually get. But we've been getting some very good weather recently. It's been it's been very humid though. Should draw some eyebrows actually. So yeah, we've been getting some humid weather for sure. And I had to turn my fan off because I didn't want it to interrupt too much. Uh, right now I'm drawing some detail on the nose. Which maybe I make it worse. Maybe it's sometimes less is more. This might confuse the program. But we want to see what this can do. Okay. Draw some freckles there. Let's add to the shirt area. There we go. And let's add something out of the ordinary. Just, I want to see what this program can do, like an ORN, for example. There we go. Add some detail on this ORN. Oops, I'm really butchering my ORN here. There we go. So, with the process button, this is what we can use to generate our output. So let's see what this does, shall we? Whoa! That is cool. And I think the Orn got confused for air wear, because as you see here, yeah, this looks more like it's a bit of air rather than an Orn. So he's got a big fringe here now. Maybe we can add this to the air then. It just make it a huge fringe. There we go. And it got the nose right, it got the mouth right. That is pretty cool. And it even got the shirt area here and the neck. So that is very cool, that is. That is very cool indeed. Let's try and add some more detail. Like, maybe some random like lines and swiggly lines. Just to see what happens. Oh, that's what happens. Okay. I think we should stop doing that because it's really butchering our drawing. Whoa, that is bizarre. So let's test this program out more. Let's see what happens when we don't draw a face at all. Let's try out an house for example. We'll start with the roof there. There we go. Now we'll draw the Elsey stuff, like the outline, the windows. Oh, pardon me. The curtains. There we go. Let's draw a door. Door handle. And we even have the glass bit there. Maybe we should add more detail on the roof there. There we go, so let's see what this does. 
something that isn't a face at all. Before you do, we're at a path, like a footpath area. There we go. There we draw some features, like for the garden. There we go. Whoa, what is that? That's like a human house. That is pretty cool. Wow, it's like a human, it's like a human version of a house. If humans were houses, this is a parallel universe where humans are houses and vice versa. That is nuts. Uh, maybe we can try just like random squiggly lines. See what how the program inter interacts with this. We're really putting this program to the limit right here. Let's see what this does. Whoa! It actually... Man, this program is good. It actually looks like a human. Like you see the nose there. You can have like the eye there. I think with a little work we can make a human out of this. I wonder what happens if we erase a part. Let's see here. Okie dokie. Yeah, so we can have an eye, like, right there. And there we go. And we do have a nose there. So I want to add some detail to the nose. We can really salvage this and make it into a piece of art. There we go, that's pretty good. We we'll draw a mouth there. Oh my god, that mouth! That is one silly face he's making. That is one silly face he's making. Okie dokie. We can even add an ear. And I can't draw as so I'll give it a I'll give it a go. There we go. Okay, that looks like a bit of an air. We need to add some air air though. So right now there's a black void. There we go, pretty good. Not too bad. So if you're making a video game and you need to create some monsters, this would be a good program for you. Especially if you're a bad drawer like I am. <laughs> well, thank you for watching this everyone. And before I go, I draw one last face. I think I'll draw a silly face this time from the front view. Draw big ol' eyeballs there. Let's see what this comes up with, because I think you can get some silly faces at times from this program. <laughs> Triangle nose, of course. And a big ol' happy face. Look at that. Let's see what this does. Whoa! That is funky. I wonder if we draw air, if it'll move the air part up. Let's see, shall we? Let's draw some detail on this air. 
I think with a lot of progress you can practice, you can definitely master this program and create some interesting results and even some masterpieces. Especially if you're a good drawer, which I'm not. Ah, so it does move the air part up, well, slightly. Maybe if we draw our eyebrows, it'll move the air part up more. Okay. I think he just has long hair that's covering his eyeballs. <laughs> well, thank you for watching this, everyone. And I hope everyone has a great weekend and a great day. And until next time, see ya. Bye.